Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of On The Spot Sports. This will be episode 33, I believe it is. And I'm Jack, and I'm along with... Tyler from On The Spot Sports. And we are going to be talking to you today about the Olympics that have, uh, that have revealed a big, a big, uh, what's it called? A big, uh... Like a big update, big, uh... Yeah, big, big update that will change a lot of things. We'll also talk, touch on, uh, some sports and sports news that we have, uh, recently heard. And we'll also do our regular segments that we usually do at the beginning. But, Tyler, how are you? You know, man, I think we could all say the same thing. We're we're hanging in there. We're doing our best. Yeah, that, that's for sure. There's n- nothing to do but just stay home. Just stay safe, stay home, uh, just chill. It With this whole quarantine stuff, it does help you, like, stay inside and, like, focus on yourself, though. So that's, that's a good thing that this whole thing brings. It really does, though. But, I mean, honestly, for me, after a while... It's already so boring. Like, I love staying home and whatnot, but I've gotten into such a routine that is so boring, and it's just like, oh my god, can this just end already? And, I mean, we pretty much already know it's going to be going on for another month. Yeah. So, uh, let's let's go in. Uh, what is something bad, like, bad that you've uh, heard, like, had or like what what's been uh going on that's not right so far this week this week oh well you know new week so uh today i really can't say anything just yet um i'm not really sure on anything so far this week but uh just the same as usual just not limiting your time outside of your home um it it becomes frustrating after a while just overall i mean this is a sense except for everyone um you know can't really like i said gotta limit your time away from your home as, as as little as possible because anyone is prone to get this at this point and you know even the slightest thing like maybe even like going for a walk or maybe just going to the grocery store to get some necessities and groceries, whatnot, it could be a difference maker. And it, it, it you know, really people, could. I mean, yeah, it, it just, everyone can go crazy from just being inside your house. I like said, I, I am ready to go crazy. Like, I'm just like, Oh my God, I've gotten into this just basic routine. And it's just so boring. And it's just, ugh. but right now it's all you can do. Damn. And go ahead. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. It's just, it is what it is at this point. There's nothing really else to, you know, like said, debate about this at this point. Yeah, that is true. There, You just got to do what you can to stay safe, stay healthy. And this is getting very serious. So we have to, we have to stay home. Can't like risk like anyone, ourselves, our family, our grandparents, like friends, anyone. You just got to stay home. It may be boring, but... But sooner or later, this will be over with, and we we'll, we could get back to a normal life in like air quotes, or normal, more normal than it is right now. I a hundred percent agree with that. So going on, going off of that, what's uh something good that's been going on? Well, hmm. That is, uh, that, that is tough. I, I gotta say, something good? Yeah. This podcast has been rolling. That, that's, that, well, other than the podcast, I'm really struggling to try and come up with something right now, because I just, it's so hard to think of just anything right now, because, I mean, it's just, times are so boring right now, it's like, what? I, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, and I do agree with you there, but for me... I'm just uh, just doing some running every day, doing some off ice goalie stuff. Shout out to Tyler at the goalie coaches. He's been uh, putting up a pro a ten day program for goalies for doing off ice training and like body weight stuff. So that's a huge help. And it helps get your uh, mind busy and uh, stay on stay on track and stay uh 
stay on the upward slope for uh, getting better as a goal as a goalie and hockey player overall, and I, I, you could say athlete, better athlete too. And uh, doing some graphic design work on the side. But other than that, I got in. I got back into Fortnite too. So, but other than that, nothing really. Nothing really new has changed. So, but Fortnite isn't there. I thought Fortnite was dead. Nah, it's still there, and a lot of people are still playing too. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. I came in second place today. I've never take. I've never. For all those who are listening, I've never played Fortnite. So judge me all you want, but just not my type of style of game. I am a 100 percent like sports gamer type of guy. I know, like I said, most most guys be like, "What is wrong with you?" But that's just that's just me. I've never really been a uh, into all those shooting games. I've just been like. Madden, uh, NBA. Madden's been my all-time favorite, though. So yeah. Madden, I've kind of... I haven't really been into video games, though, lately. I've just... I've literally been just watching ESPN and stuff, and that's, that's really it. YouTube, too. A lot of time on YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff. Yeah, this week was my first time playing uh, video games in over a year. So that's the, that's the time we're in right now. Yeah, it, Xbox, PS, all that stuff is going to be up. For me, right now, it's been ESPN and YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat. Yeah. All that good stuff. All, all the good stuff there. And also, also something uh, good to go off for the week is uh, the, po- the podcast, obviously. We've been getting a bunch of interviews that we're going to be getting up soon. And all the interviews we've done prior to this episode, where we keep grinding out episodes whenever we can. So, it's always good to come back to this and just put in the work and uh, see all see all our viewer our views go up and the people that watch seem to enjoy it. So, it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, love the support from you guys, and uh, yes, yeah, despite the uh, tough times right now uh, globally. This is this is something that we could still do, you know. This is social distancing to its finest. Yeah, for sure. And we just we got we got all you guys covered. Even if there's not a lot of news for sports anymore, we still we're still coming up with stuff on the daily to come up with uh interesting ways to make this podcast better. So we are hard workers and we are doing this all for you guys and we're having a lot of fun with it. Absolutely, I, I agree with that. So I believe it is time to get back, get right into the actual episode. So, Olympics. What what do you got for the news, Tyler? Well, it was announced, I believe it was last week, that the 2020 Summer Olympic Games that will or would, would have been held in Tokyo, Japan, uh, have been postponed indefinitely. I don't think anyone saw this as a surprise uh, due to the obvious coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I mean, all the all the major sports have been postponed and canceled indefinitely. Uh, the Olympics was really the one other thing that ha- did not really get uh, touched at all. Uh, you, you had your countries pull out. Like, I think Canada and Russia, I don't know about Russia, but Canada definitely said... They were not sending their athletes to the Olympics um, because, the, like I said, the Olympic Committee did, had not made any sort of announcement regarding uh, uh, canceling them or not. Uh, but it was announced last week that the Tokyo Games 2020 would be postponed indefinitely. And it was just announced today that there is a makeup date for the 2020 Olympics. Next year, it will be held from July 23rd to August 8th, 2021, in Tokyo. They said no later than that, no later than summer of 2021, they need to get that in. And that's that's it right now. I mean, like, it's the like best you possible said, option. Yeah, like you said, it's not a surprise at all. We all knew this was going to happen, especially with all like the pushbacks of like all the other leagues, professional leagues in the United States and around the world so it's not a surprise at all 
it is it is the smart decision though since this is getting so bad and we do not know where it's going to be at in the next month two months three months four months before the olympics so very smart move by them and it's going to be interesting since they're holding it in 2021 summer of 2021 so does that mean it'll be three years or how are they going to do that with the winter olympics then like are they going to do like another two years or are they going to do it like back to back i really don't think the winter olympics will be moved i think the winter olympics will be fine i mean as long as as long as you can get get back on track because i mean the Winter Olympics are in a completely completely different spot. So I yeah. think the Winter Olympics should be okay. If they decide to push it back, then, you know, it is what it is. Can't really do anything about it at this point. But that's almost another two full years away. But I, as far as Winter Olympics goes, I think they will they will have to touch that. Yeah. So we could see two Olympics back-to-back years. But I think that'll be pretty cool, you know, you get the, the summer, yeah, and then you get the winter uh, about a half a year away, uh, get a little combination though, you know, we had to wait, now we gotta wait three years for the next set of Olympics, and, uh, you know, then we get the little back-to-back session, and then and, uh, we'll go back to normal, but again, we we have yet to see what this pandemic has brought to the table, we already know what it's brought right now, but the question is, Will it get worse? Have we seen the worst of this yet? And hopefully it should be all done. Uh, nothing will need to be pushed back farther than what it has uh, been pushed back to right now, which is, again, July 23rd through August 8th of 2021. That was the absolute latest that they wanted to go, uh, almost to the exact dates that it was supposed to be this year. Hopefully everything will be sorted out by then, for them to not push it back farther, but I think, I don't think they will have to. Yeah, makes sense. But it honestly just sucks for, like, for, sucks for everyone in Japan and Tokyo because they've been planning for this for, like, years. And then they're they're probably, like, figuring out, like, what, like, where they're going to have everything, and then it gets totally blown out. But, but then again, just, it's a year later, so... Hopefully, it'll be all good after that. Yeah, I think I remember back in, I think it was 2016 when the last Summer Olympics, I believe, were in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Wasn't there a uh, a issue with their water supply? Like, there was, their water was poisoned or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was another interesting time. Nothing got canceled for that. Yeah. So that I, that that wasn't it wasn't just like a, a global issue. I think it was just them. Uh, but nothing nothing got canceled for that. But this is obviously like I said, way worse of a time global pandemic. And you knew, like I said, like I had said earlier, Jack, and you uh, confirmed that we all knew this was going to happen. Um, we all knew that they were going to get postponed, delayed because of the obvious outbreaks around the world uh but the one thing that i kind of was wondering is why did the olympic committee wait so long longer i should say than all the other just major sports not even in the united states but around the world like these u.s soccer leagues right away were postponing stuff until june 2021 and like i said you have all of our major sports like uh mlb nhl nba nfl has not done anything yet but I will we'll get to that later. Uh, MLS too. Why did the Olympic Committee wait so long to make a, a decision, considering their events consist of all countries around the world with more athletes than we will ever see? Yeah, that that's another like scenario that like it's a head shaker or a, yeah, a head shaker because like. All these professional sports, uh, like cancel or like postpone their seasons like right away, and like with the Olympics, it's like you're bringing in like teams from different countries, players, athletes from different countries, coaching staff. It's like that should have been that honestly should have been the first thing that was canceled or postponed, just because like how big it is, and with all like these professional leagues 
postponing. It would only make sense for them to do it first. I mean, I can see for it being the biggest one, maybe after all the minor ones. Oh, you know, we'll see what the what the just the certain leagues do, and then right after that, we'll see. But. This happened about a, a week or two after they already made their decisions. You know, we were expecting maybe like if they didn't do it, maybe a day or so. But this this took a this took more than a week, and that's just the thing. Like when you're when you're a nationally like popular event that contains, like I said, athletes from all over the world. Like this is this is the biggest sporting event that we will ever know, and. Uh, how do you not come up with a decision quicker? How do you not try to base off of what the other leagues are doing? Because like I said, you are getting athletes from all over the world. Like that, that will be the major cause of it. It's all these athletes coming together. It's great, but it's not great for this pandemic. So yeah. I'm glad they finally made a decision. But it's just, again, it, it kind of questionable if they made a decision when they did later than they should have. Yeah, exactly. Maybe they thought it was going to be like done like quicker than like er- than er- everyone thought even though um, that's not how this stuff works. It's usually out here for um, like at least like 2 to 2 to 3 months at least. Just so um, I don't know. Maybe they were thinking that like maybe it'd be done by like August, but or like July, but it should have been the first one to go to be honest. Yeah, well, uh, look, so we all knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when. Yeah. And we know we know that we will not see the Summer Olympics until July 23rd of next year. It will be different for sure. It will be. The world, the world is already very different with nothing. Yeah, that is true. So uh, what was your what's your favorite event for the Summer Olympics? What event are you looking forward to for 2021? I gotta think about this one. Obviously, I think you know me. I'm obviously more and more so in the Summer Olympics. I think the Winter Olympics are awesome. I think the Olympics in general are awesome. But I'm I've been very biased towards summer and warm weather my whole life because per, my birthday is in summer the season. Um, but like I said again, I've always been more biased towards summer warm weather. Uh, I, I I've always enjoyed the Summer Olympics. If I had to pick a certain event, though, um, obviously, you know me, I love tennis. Um, that's always one to watch out for. The last couple of times, uh, we had some surprise winners, but other events that you don't normally see or that aren't as popular. I mean, I, I honestly like the relay races, like the track races and whatnot, the sprints, the uh, the relays, the medleys, all that stuff. I don't think medleys are in there. I don't know why I said that, but I like the track races. Um, six. It's it's not. Uh, I can't think of other certain stuff right now. That's not fresh in my mind. Obviously, though, I gotta put tennis up there right now because yeah. that's 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 the sport that I played throughout high school. I played since I was a little kid. Um. That's going to what's I like this. I like this, uh, the sprinting and the relays and stuff. Yeah, for sure. For me, if I had to pick, I'd definitely go track and field since I'm I'm a track athlete and like seeing like all the like the like the elite runners, elite sprinters, like just doing like all the 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 relays and races, long distance, like the marathon. It's crazy. I mean, you know, the only reason why I brought up sprinting is the the only thing that I could think of when it came to track and field was Usain Bolt. Yeah. The he, first thing that popped that, in my that mind. That man's not, psycho. Not, that man is a psycho. That's, like I said, the first thing that popped in my mind. Not like, oh, just Usain Bolt, so just, oh, sprinting. Because that man has about almost every world record that you could imagine crazy that he, he's an elite athlete yeah absolutely yeah and like the guys that run marathons like at the olympics and like how fast they go they they go like literally like four minute pace it's crazy per mile uh, 
even when I was in cross country, I could not even meet yeah. uh, like half of that time, <laughs> barely. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that that was my best mile. I'm sure. I'm sure yours is way better than mine back in when I was in cross country. But yeah. Like I said, when I was when I was in my best running shape, I could not meet half of four minutes, almost, but not quite. Yeah, you you did kick my ass, and uh, when we went camping and we were running that one time in the forest, I remember that. And then you and your brother have just gotten so much better. I did not. I've let's not talk about my uh, my running abilities right now. They're not that great, but uh, that that was that was the last time that I think I've done. I'll do that to you guys. Now it, it'll be you guys and. It'll be way worse than what I did to you guys. Yeah, I'm so salty about that. I need I need my redemption. Well, you'll get you someday, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I, I low-key want to do a marathon. Even I, All throughout like high school, I've always wanted to do a marathon. I was like, yeah, after my senior year, I'm going to not train for it and just go out go out there and do a marathon. But maybe, maybe after... Uh, Maybe in the next few years, I might do a marathon. I at least want to do it once before I, like, hang up the spikes. Have you, like, or have you ever thought about, like, if you did a marathon, like, would you, how many how many miles would you run? Or would you walk at all, or would you try and run the whole way through? No, nah, I think I'd try to run the whole thing through. Because is it, is it really completing a marathon if you don't run the whole thing? That would be freaking crazy. Yeah. I would no way be able to do that. My friend from high school did it for fun. Like, he didn't even compete in a race. Like, literally three days ago, he just ran a long run for 26.2 miles. How is that even possible? I would not want to do a long run at that that much. I mean, I feel like... Even, like, eight-mile runs are just, like, oh, my God. That's my normal long run. And imagine that times, like, three. Yeah. Plus two more ha- miles after that. Yeah, hashtag dead. Hashtag dead. No, thank you at, for right now. Maybe in a few years, though. A few years, I'll definitely do it, though. Definitely. If I, like I, said, if I do a marathon, I will... 100% probably walk and get them out. If I'm t- if I have to, I will, but you should come um, you should come do a half marathon with me. You've done half marathon before? Yeah, I've done two so far. Nice. My best is think, 1 132, so that's like just above 7 minute pace. Not bad overall. I think uh when I was younger, I did a couple of 5k's. But that's about it. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad for yourself. No, but so that was back that was back when I did cross country in middle back school. Back in the I day. Done one, well, I haven't done one of those in, like I said, nah, I'm 18 now, so it's been a couple years. Yeah. Back in back in my day. Yeah. Just, just like the day. saying, back, back in my day. So, uh, Absolutely. so since we were talking about, uh, the COVID pandemic, what do you think is going to happen for the future? Like, how long do you think this is going to last? And do you think, wh- what do you think life will be like when it gets back to uh, normal? The overall pandemic, are you saying? How long do you yeah. do I think the overall pandemic is going to last? Yeah. It's tough to say because if you want to talk about, like, the, the bad part, Unfortunately, I don't think we've seen the worst of this pandemic yet. It really just depends on how people treat the social distancing and quarantine stuff. Because, I mean, if if everyone is treating this like this is like life or death for everyone, or not like, well, similar to that. If everyone, if everyone is treating this like a bad situation, like, do not go out of your house unless you like absolutely need to like necessity, like grocery shopping or stuff like that. It's unavoidable. It will happen, but just avoiding stuff like random trips, like, Oh, 
let's go sit down in a restaurant. Oh, let's let's go to a store or something like that. Yeah. But that's not that's not helping. I mean, and even with the social distancing stuff too, it's like not everyone is treating this like it's like they should be. Like it's like they should be. Like it's a major issue, and I feel like the more the the, the longer we take for people to really kind of realize it, the 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 worst part will get pushed back. So I said I. Uh, somehow, I don't think we've seen the worst of this pandemic yet. And hopefully, once we get to the end of the worst, whenever that'll be, hopefully it'll start to level out. But it really just depends on when maybe we get a, the vaccination that can help it or tr- some sort of treatment. But uh, in terms of the whole pandemic, I don't know. Maybe maybe a mo- another couple of months. I'm, I'm not sure, really. It really just depends. Like I said, in, on all the different aspects of treating it and um, keeping all the, the guidelines like thoughtfully in mind. Yeah, I agree with you there. And like how like, I don't think we've seen the worst of it either. I think in the next like probably two to three weeks, it'll be at like its peak. And then hopefully we'll have a uh, flatten the curve a little bit and, um, uh, Hopefully it'll decrease from there, but I, I think it'll be another, at least another month since we're still in quarantine until like, what, like April 30th now? I heard, yeah, a- April 30th yeah, so. was the, the next date. So yeah, and then I'm pretty sure all schools will be closed at least by then too, if, if it's not the rest of the semester already. Yeah, so uh, I think it'll last till like probably beginning of end of may middle or like beginning of june maybe maybe that's like a that's like a bottom range like top range will prob- probably be like july yeah but, this, this is crazy isn't it? these will change a lot of people's like what's the daily activities it already has but people will be so used to these kind of routines and ways of life that going back will Going back will either be, like, a wake-up, not a wake-up call, but, like, going back will be, like, an actual sign of life for these people. Or it'll be like, man, this feels so weird. Like, I I, I gotta take some time, gotta ease into it a little bit. Yeah, I cannot tell you how how different the world's gonna be after this. And, like, like you said before, with, like, all the, like, how, like, people are handling the social distance part of it, I don't think a lot of people are doing a good job of it, like you said. Like, a lot of people are, like, obviously, like, the necessities, like, you go to the store to get, like, stuff you need, like, toilet paper, food, like, water, like, all that. Yeah. And, and, like, go to, like, go out and go out for, like, runs outside, and, like, get some exercise outside. But, like, if you go to the store just to go to the store, just for, like, not ne- not necessities, and you go, like, to restaurants to go dine in, um, even though you can't right now, but, like, if they're still open, or just hang out with, like, a group of, like, 10 to 15 people plus that, that's just, I don't, that's just, like, what are you doing? Like, this is, this is serious stuff, and we need to get this under control. Yeah, I mean, at first I heard groups of over 50 people were, like, that's no go, but now, I mean, I've heard you should really try to keep it to less than 10 people. Yeah. And, and most of the time that, that is in less than your household. Like, and even with that people visiting again, you don't live in the same house. You you just really can't have that. I mean, this is a part of the plan. I mean, um, unless if you're someone like Philip rivers, where you have like nine kids and you got 11 people in your house, there's nothing you can do about the 10 over because there's 11 people that live in that house. But, um, you know, or just, like I said, other people. Yeah. That, that's just the way it is. You just got to follow the rules at that point. Yeah, but like I said, poor Philip Rivers, they got nine kids. So they got 11 people in that household. Yeah, that's it's crazy. It must be hectic. Yeah, uh, the population of India just is going to shoot up now since that's where he went. Yeah. So, uh, 
since like we're veering off into like football, you want to talk some football? Like, yeah, sure. I'm always down. All right. So recently, I've been uh, I got I've been getting emails from uh, CBS, and they've been like explaining like a lot of stuff, like how like sports will be affected without like after this uh, whole coronavirus thing. So uh, the first topic they talked about is. Is there going to be a college football season? You want me to answer that? Yeah, go for it. Right now, I'll go yes, because that doesn't start till about August, September. By that time, this pandemic should be over. But the one question is, will it be like a full season, like, the training camp and all that stuff, that'll be, like, around July. That will be pushing it pretty close to if deadlines or stuff get pushed back. I'll go I, – I don't think there I, – I do think there will be a football season for them, but I think the real question is how much. Will they try to limit some games – or will they, will they try to push it back and say, you know what, hey, we want to play the full season, but just – Extend it back a little bit because the uh, fo- football is a pretty long off season. I think it, football is the longest off season of any sport in terms of. I'm not. I'm just not talking about regular season or playoffs to regular season. I'm talking about just like a time off in general. Uh, even for the agency period, you don't have to report again until like four months after, compared to like hockey and basketball and baseball. It's like two months yeah, for like training camp and all that stuff. So honestly, I will say yes, but I, I don't know if it will be shortened or not. I really hope it's not, but if it is, then like I said, nothing we can do. Yeah. I, I totally agree with you there. A lot of the sources that have, uh, that have said stuff in the email, it's like, we're, uh, it's like there, it, there is a chance that it may get, that it may get like totally wiped out, and there won't be any college football this year. But there's a lot of people that seem to be, uh, seem like there that there will be a season, but like it just depends on if they'll play a full season or if they're gonna like postpone some games or just cancel a few games and then get after it later in the season. But a year, a year. Without college football, that'd be uh that'd be weird. Football just in general would be weird. I can't. I would not be able to live through that. Yeah, Co- especially college football. And, uh, college football is so hyped, and like, college college uh people at college live for that stuff. They live for college football. Yeah, co- college fans are by far. The most passionate fans that you see out there, more 100%. so than the pros. Hundred percent. So, do you think the NFL will postpone their season or like or cancel their season? Honestly, I'll go with the same thing as what I said for college football. Since they start around the same time, I definitely think the NFL will have a season. But again, I just think with how close they start reporting for training camp and OTAs and all that stuff. How close that, how close all that is compared with like deadlines being pushed back and stuff. Yeah. It's, I really don't know if that'll be a signal call over. It will be shortened or we will push it back and finish the whole thing out. I'm not sure, but I, as far as the season goes, the, I will say I I am trying to use optimistic as optimistic as I can, but realistic because, like I said, they're in a pretty they're not they're in not as bad of a spot as all these other sports because they're in the beginning of their off season. They have some time to try and see how this plays out. But if you want to take away my, my optimism and just like I said, kind of passion, I do think they will have a season. But again, same thing for college. It's just, will it be shortened or not? Will this still be bad by the time they got a report for training camp and push it back? 
maybe postpone it and play it the whole thing out, or maybe just shorten it in general to try and keep whatever they can on time. Yeah, for me, I'm I'm just trying to stay positive for all these uh, sports, especially the ones that are like postponed right now. But I do think I do think the NFL season will be fine. I think they're gonna play out like like normal. I don't think it'll be delayed or anything, but but only time will tell with how everything's going right now. And it honestly, it would not be a fun year without NFL football and no Super Bowl. Especially, especially with all these free agent signings like Brady being on the Bucks. I know. I I so I want to see the full season so bad. I did see something earlier today that it is. I did hear this is a rumor. This is a possibility. The NFL could shorten the season to just fourteen games instead of sixteen. And remember, the CBA. The 17 game season does not start until 2021, so this will be the final year of the 16 game schedule as of now. Um, but I did hear that there is a there is a rumor that this could happen if it doesn't get better by the time the NFL could shorten the season from 16 games to 14 games. And just so you know, the, the NFL season, I believe, up until the early 1980s or late 1970s was actually 14 games. Um, those late 70s Tampa Bay Buccaneers teams um, went 0-14 one season and then 0-13, or I believe 0-12, and then they finally won the game. They almost went two full seasons without winning a game in the late 70s. 26 games in a row they lost when the season was still 14 games. So... It's not out of the ordinary to see 14, but like I said, it has it has been a long time since we've seen that. But yeah, I want the full season, man. Yeah, I do this too. It's been crazy. I do too. Hopefully, we get a full 16 game season. 14 games wouldn't be that bad though, because at least we'll still be getting football. Absolutely, but, but honestly, but, but I'd, obviously, I'd still we, like, we all want to see the full season. Yeah, I'd still like to see the full season, and. Playoffs won't be affected by it, obviously. I I don't think so. I think everything should be fine by then. Yeah, for sure. So uh, moving on to the next sport, MLB MLB's opening day would have been last Friday. So unfortunately, MLB didn't get to start, but they're hoping to still start playing playing ball in June. Do you think that's a reasonable? option for the MLB? I don't know. I think the MLB might have to push it back more. Um, We heard about mid-May for the start, and with how everything is going now, I mean, I think Virginia has gone, or there might be other things too, but I think Virginia was the one I heard in the news went into a full, like, lockdown mode. If these other states will follow, and then this is, we're going into April right now, this can't be good. Honestly, I think if the MLB is in, I think either that mid June, like you said, or or farther back, because I think what they originally said mid May for opening day, I don't, that is no way there's that's going to happen. Yeah. So no either way. like you said, uh, uh, mid June or maybe even later for the MLB. They they out of all the major sports, I think the MLB is in the worst spot right now. Yeah. So the MLB and the Union are both hopeful for a June start date, but like you said, you don't see that coming. I don't really see that coming. I think they, I think the re, a reasonable start date for them will be after Fourth of July, to be honest. And that, that, that sucks I, I, too I hate to say it, but I think I think that's where that's the best option right now. And that is such. So- even with all these, the NBA and NHL, they are a little bit better off because they have they could easily jump right into the playoffs with where they're at. They're they're about three quarters or a little past three quarters of the way through the season. They could just get right into the playoffs at that point. The MLB, man, they and especially like I said, with I'm bringing in the NBA and the NHL into it too. Football, it's not like it's easier, but it kind of is because you only play one game a week. These guys, the MLB, play almost every single day of the week. NBA and NHL are a little bit less, but midweek games. So 
there'd be no room to try and fit more stuff in. Everything would just have to be pushed back. And it is just, it's chaotic, you know? You can't you can't try and fit it in somewhere because, like I said, MLB especially, they play most of the time five, six days a week. Yeah. Throughout the season. There is no, no room for opportunity to try to put, you know, these certain months that we mi- that we miss in there because it's just the schedule. It is what it is. You you can't work around it. It's just jam packed. It yeah. is what it is. And like, there's games like literally every single day, like you said. So I don't, I don't. So they're in the worst spot possible right now. So I don't see that happening. We'll be lucky to see a hundred game season. I think. Yeah, it's just crazy. So, and again, like like you said, the worst possible spot, not only with the fact that they play the most games during the week, but right before the start of the season. Yeah. I mean, you can't get any worse than that. Mm-mm. Poor poor baseball fans. Yeah, Obviously, for real. We're all ba- I think we're, we all know we're all baseball fans, but yeah. as a community, though, it's just, man. This sucks. Really, really bad yeah. spot for baseball. Yeah. So, but like uh, another good option, I think the MLB has is a lot of doubleheaders. So players said that they're open to all these doubleheaders, but how much? When are when are doubleheaders enough? Like how many times a week do you do doubleheaders, or how how many doubleheaders do you do this season? There's a lot of stuff going on for like doubleheaders and all that. That is an interesting scenario too. But again, like I agree with you on that. It there comes to a point where the body, your human body, just you need a little bit of rest. You can't you can't do it all the time. Maybe once or twice a week, but even that, you know, like I said, these guys play around what five, six times a week. They got to get a day off here and there. Even if they do get a day off, it's still you're still putting the same amount of games in per week. Yeah, exactly. Do you think the MLB will hold empty stadium games uh, at the beginning of whenever they start? That's a good question. Um, I honestly think they won't. I think they will try and resume whenever they are allowed to get fans back. Like even when they want to play, I think they, they everyone will try and be like, "We want the fans here because you know what, the ballpark they'll be losing money with without the fans being able to come buy the food, buy merchandise, tickets." The fans, the that, fans are I part of the from, game too. I I think so, and 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 I know from the standpoint, you're like, well, we got to keep these guys out because you know it's they're not players. I get that, but like I said, this is for everyone here. Everyone's in this together, whether you're on these teams or not. Um, I don't know. I I just think, like I said, minus the whole the money thing, everyone just wants to be there. So yeah. I I think I think it. They they do not go fanless. I think they wait till the best possible time. All right, when can we resume? When can we clear for everything? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I also think they won't go fanless, especially since like fans are part of the game, and it takes a lot to run a baseball a baseball orga- organization and work around and work the stadium too. So you're gonna be losing a lot of money from that. A lot of losing money from tickets, merchandise sale concessions all that but i think but the worst case i think it'll be like a week without fans but then they'll be like screw it we're we're just gonna bring bring back fans because fans are part of the game yeah it's it's tough tough all-around situation yeah but um what what would you think of uh december playoff baseball or november playoff baseball Imagine these fans sitting in those seats, freezing their asses off, and and the players and like especially the outfield ball. What it must feel like just standing out there, you know, not really a lot of layers, not a protection, but you love your sport, so I think they will do anything to try and make the best out of a crappy situation and play whatever they can for their season out, but. As far as, like I said, November, December baseball, I'm down for it. I- I'm down for seeing, like I said, I-, I want sports back whenever we can, so. Yeah, for sure. 
I, I'd i love November and December baseball. That'd be so much fun to see, especially since the weather will start to get cooler and uh, it could snow. That'll be an interesting uh, sight to see in a baseball game. Yeah, I think the last time we, uh, we saw November baseball, I don't think it w- the last three World Series, I do not believe went into November. I think the last time we got November baseball is when uh, – one of my favorite games ever, the Cubs and the Indians yeah. played in the World Series. Uh, me being a Cubs fan, obviously, oh, man. That, that, was, uh, uh, Cub, that was a fun Cubs, time. Cubs fans will forever remember that game. Uh, but I believe that that is the last time we had November baseball. I could be wrong, but I think the last three World Series have all ended in October. Yeah, but it has to be a lot of fun, especially... Since when the Cubs won uh, the World Series, like November baseball, that was that was cool. It was a historic time for the Chicago Cubs as well. But anytime you could play baseball in like November, like just done around with like your parents or like your friends, it's always fun. It always brings back uh, memories, especially uh, uh, playing uh, fall ball in uh, little little league. And um. With the Yankees in the back in the World Series, trying for a four peat, uh, not just winning it for New York, but obviously everyone is playing for America because that happened. That game, like I said, I believe it started on October thirty first. I know it ended in November, but I think it 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 ended on November first. Big upset though, like I said, Yankees going for four World Series in a row. Just think of that, four World Series in a row, but the Diamondbacks. With Randy Johnson, uh, got the upset. I think let's say the game ended past midnight on November first. That's really what I think of November baseball. I think there was more instances, but that was the first time where I ever read about wow, November baseball. Yeah. Um, the history and significance of it. But yeah. this will be a whole new reimagined way, considering, like I said, the circumstances regarding baseball, especially. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a fun time nonetheless. It'll be uh it'll be interesting, but I th- I think the players will love it, the fans will love it. I think everything about everything about it it's going to be going to be good. Yeah, I listen, I don't think really fans will care about the cold that much. Hell, hell man, baseball is back. We want it just any way we can get it. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I believe we're going to be on we're going to move on to our last topic of the day. So, the NHL could play through August. So, uh, so like, the like the proposal that the players have uh, submitted to uh, NHL is, like, early July will be, a, like, a training camp type thing. Like, a mini training camp, not, like, the regular, le- regular like, camp. And then late July will be the regular season finish. August to September will be playoffs. October will be the off season, which including which includes the uh, NHL draft and free agency, and then uh, November will start the 2020, 2021 season. What do you think of that? Not too bad, actually. Uh, considering I, I I know uh, hockey usually starts early or October side, but the fact that they're kind of gathering all this stuff up now, a couple months down the road, that that's pretty good that they're coming up with this stuff now. They're trying to think of the game plan. Hey, you know, we don't know how much longer this is going to go on, just like the rest of us don't know. But what can we do to try and, you know, prepare ourselves to, you know, be ahead of the game plan for if something does happen or if something does stop? You know, I like how they're thinking ahead. Yeah, I did too. I, I, I think that's that's a really good plan. And you said this is all the players coming up with this? Yeah. That's really that's that's really good that they're all coming together in this situation. Yeah, I I really like it a lot because like obviously like since they've been gone from the season for so long already, it'll be nice to have like a little a mini training camp where like you pro- probably like a week or two of just training and getting back on the ice, getting ready, and then like the third or fourth week of July, you finish the regular season where they have like seven, eight, nine, ten games left. And then August and uh, September will be playoffs. And uh, the playoffs would be an interesting situation, too. 
because what they uh what everyone has proposed is a regular four round format seeding with a shorter series so instead of best of seven it'll become best of five and then the stanley cup final will be best of seven obviously or or it could be a three round format which is which has been uh, similar to what the nhl ran with the original six and expansion draft or expansion days so it basically eliminate the the first round of the playoffs and feature the four teams from each conference top two from each division in a best of seven series or there is a, a bizarre wild cards game uh, playoff game where it's a 24 team playoff that would feature quick eliminators and playoff rounds and that that would definitely be an interesting thing to see. Only six teams don't make the playoffs, but 24 teams do. And it's a whole, like, one and done or, like, best of, like, three-game series. That'd be fun. So you said what? This format is um, the players want to start the playoffs when? August, September? Yeah, August and September. August into September. Well, that's the interesting thing, though, because you were we were bringing up all these different formats where maybe eliminate some teams or keep all the teams and eliminate the best of seven for some series. Because I mean, when you think about it, this, the the playoffs usually start what mid April and end closer to the end of June. That's about yeah. two months there. Mm-hmm. So if you start what uh, maybe August, you said August September. Yeah, that's. Cutting it pretty close, you know, not a short off season at all. Not, uh, you know, not, not a lot of time to sign, not a lot of time to do the draft, depending on how, when they start, you know? Yeah. So I like though how they're trying to, like I said, they're trying to get these different formats out, say, Hey, which one might work first? Or, you know, Oh, we could do this or that. I like how they're thinking ahead. I don't think we've seen this from any other league yet. The NHL is really trying to go ahead. I mean, the MLB, we've just seen them try and say, oh, when do we start? But the NHL is figuring out, oh, what what is our like game schedule is going to look like? Yeah. I really like how they're looks at they're they're ahead right now. They're they're really trying to go in depth and be ahead. Yeah, definitely the NHL is ahead of the game right now. I I believe uh, it'll be a interesting interesting finish to the season. Especially with what uh, this everyone proposed, but I do like what they propose. It's a really like it's a simple plan, and like it it would work. The only problems I'd see is getting the ice to be perfect, like throughout the summer the summer uh, months. But I think it's doable, especially since you're still playing hockey in June, where it's when it's warm for like regular like Stanley Cup playoff games. And then uh, the the like bizarre like wild card series that'd be a, that'd be really interesting to see, especially seeing like the twenty four teams make the playoffs and then just do like quick like one or one best of like just one and done or best of three game series. That that would definitely, I think it helped the league too because like like bring bring in more fan base. Even though that, the NHL is pretty is uh doing really well with like their fans and everything. I think it'll definitely bring in some more uh popularity too. Yeah, I don't know. For me personally, I feel like the, I I just like I like keeping everything how it is. I think the best thing again is like like you said maybe August, maybe early August, September, something like that. Maybe not September, but maybe sometime in August do you start the playoffs, keep the playoff format the same how it is. And just ride it out, see where it takes you. But maybe cut back on on uh, rest days because you don't want to you don't want to cut right into maybe when the, the season starts or the draft. But I like it, like you said, uh, keeping it the same. You know, no no changes to the playoff format and whatnot, and then just maybe riding it out from there. Yeah, for sure. NHL is definitely. On top of everything, I I'd say right now. I agree one hundred percent. Yeah. So, is there any uh concluding thoughts you want to hit on before we end this? Uh, no, I think I got everything. Yeah, I think we covered everything we wanted to. So, uh, 
this will do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for all the support, all the all the views, the comments, likes, everyone that's everyone that's listening. We really appreciate it. We don't know where we would be without you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, we're going to be grinding out some episodes soon and getting a lot more a lot more out very soon, very soon. So uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So we'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace out, guys.